With his profit dwindling, Yarek is trapped by the terms of his contract. He's got to carry on with the job if he wants to keep paying the wages of Marianne and Tomash. Oh my goodness. That billboard, that billboard is so important to me. Just reminds me when I just arrived. I've been, I've been arrived here. 28th of January, exactly, exactly seven years ago here. And I spent whole night behind this billboard. Seven years ago, I've been full of confidence. It's like the money is just on the floor. You have to just pick up the money. Uh, it's not that easy. With my seven years experience, I know to make money in this country, you have to be so brave so flexible, so uh, hard worker, really, really hard worker. To make money you have to work harder and harder. The steel girder to protect the electricity cable has finally arrived at Darms. I want to draw your attention to that. Still in a hurry. <laughs> That's like that on his ass, Dan. See, that's why people use tradesmen. He's doing his trade, he knows what to do. We do our trade, we know what to do. I mean, all that rubbish about foreigners coming over because there ain't no tradesmen, that's absolutely rubbish. A lot of them come over and do our job. The guys who are learning the trade ain't going to have a job to go to anyway. If anybody who comes over and with a trowel and a level in their pocket, think they can do our standard of work, they can't, can they? Just pull, pull. For Terry's boys, fresh out of college, it's all a bit of a shock to the system. Oh, you're having a laugh. We need no. Egyptian slaves. Even though it's a struggle, Terry is a staunch defender of the British way of doing things. Foreign workers are not his cup of tea. Everybody knows he's worked for next to nothing. A hundred of them in one house and all that game. You know, I mean, I, I, I could show you loads of jobs where uh, for, foreign labourers have, you know, done jobs and uh, cost the client thousands of pounds to put it right. You don't hear about that. Then you get everybody, and you get someone who's making a few bob of all oh, their brilliant workers. I oh, know they are. I've, I've worked with them. As soon as that governor goes down the road, they all sit down and have a fag. They're no different from anybody else. Don't tell me one human works more than the other. You might in front of the governor, but you don't do it all the time, because I wouldn't. At Yarek's build, the walls are flying up. If he's to make any profit from the job, he needs to keep Marianne and Tomash working a relentless 10-hour day, six days a week. It might be exhausting, but it gets results. This is a traditional Polish accelerator. 70% <laughs> fat. I know many people think it's disgusting, but this gets you and speed. Hmm. Yarek is building an envelope roof, one of the most complicated and expensive pitched roofs to construct. And he's doing it by the book. The roofing always been danger. Okay, we can make this safer, but Scaffolding, that's gonna cost. <laughs> no, I think you're doing a fantastic job. It does look good. What do you mean fantastic? Only fantastic? Oh, okay. But this is Excellent. some work. Okay. Superb. <laughs> no, it is. It's very good and it's looking really, really big now.